welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And of course, we have some posts for today's mail day video. Look at this. And I'm really looking forward to opening this. This is a, a post from Blake. I have no idea what senior. I love it when they use my name here, Tim the Enchanter, because my real name is actually Thomas, but everybody calls me Tim, especially when it's uh, about magic. I find these Sesame Street stamps to be really, really cool. Thank you, Blake. And I, I, I have no idea what's in here, but I'm going to keep this for last. I'm going to put this here. I'm first going to open up the package that I actually know what's in here because I've ordered a blue card from Antiquities that was surprisingly expensive. But I, I mean, I have that more often with cards because I already own one copy. Um, so in my mind, the card wasn't that expensive, but then that's what you get with old school, right? Some of those cards, they just, they went up in price so much. And here we go. And there we go. So the, um, the person I bought this from um, has his own shop, which is Halte Dertie in the shop in the Netherlands. Um, and I think it's, let me check. Yeah, this is from Card Advantage Europe. Pretty good uh, seller on um, on card market. I usually order stuff from him. It always arrives on time. The cards are in good condition. What more could you ask for? So we got some uh, some packaging here, and there we could already see one of the cards, which is a Cat Warrior, which is actually not the card that this order was all about. But when I order a more expensive card, I usually order a few smaller cards there as well because the shipping is already paid for anyway. So let's take a look what's in here. Yaddy, 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 yay, a vampire. You see, it's always worth to go through these. A vampire bats, that's cool. I think vampire bats with a bat moon, I think it has potential, you know. I mean, it's a, it, it's a flyer. Oh, and of course we have a Scarwood Hag. I like Scarwood Hag. And there we have the seller. This is what he's called on Card Market, Card Advantage Europe. Scarwood Hag, really nice. I like to combine this with Hidden Path, or no, with, uh, sorry, uh, Gaius Leech in like a Hidden Path theme deck. Could be pretty cool. Also because you can say tap target creature loses Forest Walk. So if you have that Hidden Path, um, you know, and your opponent is attacking you, because obviously you're playing with green, and if your opponent's always also playing with green, you know, then his creatures also have Forest Walk, but then you can, or her creatures, but then you can use Scarwood Hag and, Take the forced walk away. Also, Scarwood Hag, I guess, and Urnum Jin. It's a combo, isn't it? That is so funny. You never see that, but it's it's a combination. Um, and then we have an, uh, a forest walker. Wow, this is a very green themed uh, mail day video so far. We've got the cat warriors, and cat warriors is uh, one of those creatures where I think shouldn't you actually be in Arabian Nights? Um, and I asked some people that kind of know their stuff, and everybody says, no, this is not art from the Arabian Nights. It's simply the art that's made for Legends. And yes, it has this almost Arabian Nights feel and theme to it, but it's actually genuinely made for the art on the Legends card. So a Forest Walker, 2-2 two, two for 3 mana. Hardly sees any play, but I mean, maybe in a sideboard or a Forest Walk theme deck, it could work. I, I, I'm really thinking about Landwalk decks lately because you used to see them a lot and now you don't see them anymore. But this is the card that for me the order was all about. And it's a blue card. Here you go, Hercules Recall. Absolutely stunning art. I think by Kaya. Oh, by Nene Thomas, of course. Yeah, I knew that, I knew that. Um, one blue and one an instant. All artifacts in play owned by target player or returned to target player's hand. Any enchantments on those artifacts are discarded and cannot be played during the damage dealing phase of an attack. So what I love about this card is you can use it both ways. I can use it on my opponent and it can be a, be a deal breaker. For example, on this end step, I send back all the artifacts to his hand and he will probably have to discard a bunch. If I also have a vice on board, it's gonna hurt him a lot next turn. It's also gonna set him, set him back, obviously. But I can also use my Hercules Recall for my own troops. If I play like with Trikes or with uh, Mana Volts, I can use the Hercules Recall to get that all back to my hand, play it out again, and then the Trikes get counters again. The, the Mana Volts come back to my hand, so when I play them out, they're untapped. So there are a lot of scenarios where, you know, Hercules Recall 
is a really, really good card. Uh, also, maybe some kind of balance situation where you want your opponent to just have a full grip of cards, so he's forced to discard a lot. They're just, it's such a versatile card. And I love instances, but I, I love instants even more when they're versatile, like Hercules Recall. It's also one of the reasons why I'm a big fan of cards like Unsummon and Twiddle, because, you know, you can use them both ways. I love that. Anyway, Hercules Recall here, absolutely beautiful card. And this was also the card that I talked about that was, you know, this card has gotten very expensive, you know, nowadays. So that kind of surprised me. I knew it was a valuable card, but I didn't realize it was that valuable until I actually ordered it. Um, okay, and here we have the mill from Blake from the States. Like I said, I have no idea what's in here. So yeah, let's just crack it open and have a look. This is a surprise. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. We get some stickers. Juzam Jin. That's one damage to do during your upkeep. Wow, these are really cool. And there we have an Instagram account. Evan Guards MTG Anti Pay to Play. So I guess they're allowing uh, proxies in their community. So Evan Guards MTG, you can go there. And you send me a lot of these stickers, man. That's so cool. I, I think I'm just going to stick them on one of my boxes. Well, my Timmy Spellbook deck box, definitely. Um, and of course, I can give away a few and use some on my cards. Um, and then, oh, yeah, now I remember. Now we, remember. we had contact through Instagram because I saw that you posted these. And I'm just a sucker for everything Timmy related. That's so cool, Blake, that you send these my way. That is really, really appreciated. Let's have a look at the Tims. That is so cool. I mean, the old school community is just the best. I mean, the amount of, of cool cards and funny things people send my way, it's like heartwarming. It truly, truly is. So let's have a look here. Oh, this is cool. I'm not showing it to you yet. I want to keep it as a surprise, but let's start with this one first. So yeah, the bear Timmy, right? How cool is this? I love, and it's well made, man. Blake, it is well made. Wow, absolutely love it. This is gonna, I have a binder full of Alter Tims and this is gonna have a nice spot in there. Um, and then we have another card. And oh, look at that, a bearded Atok. That is so sweet. I love, like, I love these altars, you know, where you add something to a card to just make it look completely different. Very, very cool. So we got the bearded one. Oh man, I feel spoiled. There are three more of these cards. They're probably all altered. Oh nice! A rook token made out of a dragon whelp. That's so cool. That is really sweet. I, I'm gonna use this one. I've got four rook eggs. I need to play them more often and this is really a nice incentive to do so. So we got the rook token. We've got the Atok, the bearded, the Latnam, Atok Latnam, that's really funny. And then we have, oh, it's so cool, look at that, it's missing something, what are we missing? Oh, this is gonna be so much fun to play. You're just gonna put it on the on the, on the the board and people probably won't notice at first, and then they look twice, I'm like, what? What's wrong with this white knight? That is actually very well made. Like taking something out of a picture is I guess just as hard as adding something. Maybe in some circumstances even harder to do. Very, very, very cool. You know what, I'll have the original here and this altered one here so you can see the difference. Very well done, man. This is so cool. And then we have one last card here to go. And let's turn it around. Hey, it's a Black Knight. It's missing the Black Knight. Oh, that's so sweet. These are really cool. Like, they're really well made. Wow, that's like pretty amazing. Look at these two. I think this is gonna be my thumbnail. This is like super cool. Thank you so much, Blake, for sending this. Uh, I'll definitely contact you. On, on Instagram and everybody if you enjoy these cards from Blake please give him a follow at at Avantgarde's MTG I'm sure he'll be happy with that these are very very cool kick-ass stickers thank you so much Blake for the mail day and of course Card Advantage Europe as well for the Hercules Recall it's been a good day and for now thank you very much for watching and see you next time what shall we do with the
Ikutus, ikutus, somba, kazi.